Hi everyone, it's Joanne Fedler here, author and writing mentor. And I thought I would speak a little bit more today about writer's block. You know, when we are working on writing and we come up against some kind of resistance in our writing, there is a blockage there. Uh, when we think about what we're facing there as a kind of resistance, as a form of blockage, we tend to become very resistant to it. We feel frustrated and anxious and it becomes something that we're trying to overcome, to get over, to move beyond. And when we frame it like this, it, it really does put the, the blockage outside of us, you know, as if it were something that we literally have to get around, like a roadblock, you know, we've got to find a way over it or under it or through it. But of course, you know, when we're writing, uh, everything that comes up for us in the writing has got everything to do with us. Writing is a process of becoming conscious and alongside our writing, whatever it is we are writing about, is who we are as people, who we are as writers. Just the same way, just in the same way that any relationship we're in is a reflection of us, uh, is giving us information about who we are or the bodies we're in. Uh, the health, the wellness, the size, the shape of our bodies is giving us information about us. And it's the same with writing. Whatever it is that we come up against in our writing is not external. It's not outside of us. It's information that um, about something that's going on inside of us. And so when we think about it in this way, we can also see it as a kind of a, a gift. Whatever's coming up in the writing is asking to be looked at. It's asking us to bring a kind of a, a consciousness to the writing or to whatever it is, it, it is that is pushing up against us. So the, the important thing I think is not to externalize uh, any of the resistance that comes up and to think of it as something outside of you, but rather as something inside of you that is, that is interesting. So to kind of bring um, a bit of curiosity. What is this? Why is this here? What is it trying to show me? What can I learn from this? Uh, how does this reflect uh, in my writing? What What is actually really going on here? So if we bring that kind of consciousness to the blockage and to the resistance, we have a much better chance of softening the resistance, of finding a way to incorporate rather than to reject it or externalize it or destroy it or fight it, but to really incorporate it into our writing and into the process of understanding who we are and what comes up for us in the writing. Uh, to me, that just seems like a much more helpful way of thinking about writer's block. So um, I hope that that is, is useful to you and I will see you again soon.